showing how much hard work goes into like these simple things. You know, you think that you just turn on a podcast and throw some music in there and, you know, it's done. But, you know, it really broke down the process. And I feel like the way they did it in the class, I think they did like a really good job. Scrapper Lake is a high school that takes a different approach in its learning inside the classroom. With its smaller student body of around 180, youth get a much more hands-on approach compared to its counterparts. One program that is worth mentioning is Steep Stairs Press, a curriculum created by one of the teachers, Margie Bowker. I had kids with just a lot of issues that, that um, I was like, yeah, why would they care about this literature that, that I'm teaching? To my surprise, when I started to ask them about their lives, they were very passionate about telling me and other people. And so we decided to do a mini course for a week on just publishing and we were gonna publish online. And the night before the mini course started, I just said, well, why aren't we just, why don't we just do like a physical book? The Skyrim books is stories that are written by students. And they're completely real stories. Like they're written from a time in your life that was really horrible almost. Margie was a really big part of me writing it. She found out about, you know, my life through a little assignment that she wanted us to do. And I talked about my past and, you know, everything that I've been through. And emotionally for me, I had to validate my own feelings through the writing and like going back. But it was really good like therapy for me these students were interested and Margie was interested in doing the podcast because it would extend the reach of their audience uh, to people who either regionally can't get the book because it is a local publication and it is cheaper to publish a podcast than it is to publish the book. Scriber has been a really amazing partner for us because of their approach with alternative learning styles. They're very open and very open-minded and they're always willing to try something new and find out if it's going to work for kids. A lot of times it does. <laughs> I think one of the main skills that has been gained during the pandemic, especially when we were all on Zoom together, planning and executing an episode that is going to be engaging for a listener. You know, choosing a topic, choosing what the questions are going to be. We learned how to edit, um, edit audio, edit video and stuff like that. Uh, you know, we'd be broken into groups on, you know, what we were more interested in. Uh, I know some people did music and stuff like that, but really learning the process and, you know, how like, you know, meticulous, like all these little details are, or, you know, um, you know, balancing audio and like, you think that you just turn on a podcast and throw some music in there and, you know, it's done, but it really broke down the process. And I feel like the way they did it in the class, I think they did like a really good job um, with you know, showing us how to do everything and making sure that the product was like really good. I feel like people nowadays don't necessarily consume books at the same rate that they were like back in just like the early 2000s, maybe even 90s. But now that like it's so easily digestible, somebody could literally listen to me reading my story. I think that's was really valuable and like cool. There was a really, really heartfelt response to these stories because so many kids could relate. Addiction issues and bullying, body type and, and race and mental struggles. You know, it was really a lot of just discussions considering what is going to be relevant, which, you know, <laughs> as an educator, that's what we want to make things relevant.